this month, um, in April, we wanted to do a three-day festival. First day, it will be a music program. Second day, it will be rhythm and dance. Third day, it is a drama. That is why we call it a Sangeet and Nritya Natakotsa. And Rajan Sarjan Mishra, they will be giving a Hindustani classical vocal music on the first day, on the 20th of April. On 21st, the rhythm part comes from a Thalavadya Kacheri, rhythm ensemble from uh, Hyderabad. It is by Peravali Jay Baskar. He is a young award winner of Sangeet Nadakakar. Then the second half of the program is a Chao dance from Jharkhand, Sarekala Chao by Gopal Prasad Dube. On the third day, we are presenting a Punjabi drama, Katra Katra Zindagi, written and directed by Devendra Dhamma. That is on the 22nd of April. So, we aim at presenting programs from different parts of the country. It's not only in different venues in, in Delhi, it's also programs by different artists from different parts of the country. So that we get a, through this Silver Jubilee year, we are able to present programs from different parts of India, getting a glimpse of what is available across the country. Play is part of performing arts. That is certainly there. And somebody asked me, what is what has Kalikudam got to do with the Punjabi drama? Punjabi is not excluded. Punjabi is not excluded. They are part of us. Punjabi is not part of our culture also. So when we say Kalikudam is for promotion of arts, literature and culture, it includes everything. The spectrum is very wide. So it comes in naturally. I was not particularly connected with Punjabi theatre, except that I had been to Chandigarh and performed my Ramcharit Manas there. No, no, that was Ramcharit Manas in its original version, which you have seen this uh, book, Bharatanatyam Expanding Horizons. I had choreographed Tulsi Das's Ram Charit Manas as a solo Bharatanatyam recital with verses in the original language set to music to suit the Bharatanatyam choreography. So, it has been, I have presented it across the country to great critical acclaim and uh, former President P.V. Narsamavara called it, yeah. Former Prime Minister P. V. Narasimharao called it a pioneering and path-breaking work. He said many people will take ideas and follow. So that program I have presented across country, not only in Chandigarh, even in Jammu I had presented it. And from Guwahati to uh, Bombay in CPA, I have performed it in all the places. So from Jammu to Chennai, right across the country I have done that program. It has got appreciation all over. So, it's not, you know, the ideas are common in the Indian continent. These ideas and values have gone away to, gone over to other countries also. Buddhism was born in India. It is known in ever so many other countries including China and places like that. So, we are united people. So, what Kalekodam aims at is emphasizing this uniting factors. That is why we want to bring all these things into one food and present it as a, as a bouquet, you can say. Many flowers make the bouquet. So, that's it. We are aiming. So people know what is good and bad. If they like it, they do appreciate it. Ram Charit Manas and my other contribution that uh, Prakriti Mande, other choreography, Prakriti Mande, salutation nature, 
that contain songs in 10 different Indian languages. So it also combines my dance and photography. That has also got tremendous response. Uh, like I showed you, it has got a certificate of special merit in the International Film Festival organized by WWF. And a clipping of it was shown in the American television in the news bulletin. So unless it had some merits, all this would not have happened. So people do appreciate when it is good art. Doesn't matter presented by whom, but if it is good, there is appreciation, definitely. Yes, that is true. And uh, maybe the films and the television contribute to that. You only have to see the dance shows that are sponsored by various channels in the television that does not depict anything like what is traditional to India or at least uh, bringing what is normally seen on stage here. It is something totally different, except a couple of channels in, uh, in Tamil. All others are Bollywood based, dance or Bollywood based music, which is totally different from uh, what is available on the classical stream. But anyway, one has to keep trying so that we are able to bring the people who have been weaned away. That's what I think. Should do. But you will also see classical art has got more audience and appreciation outside India. That also one sees nowadays. In America, every town, everywhere you go, they have some form of Indian classical dance being taught and uh, the audience appreciation is certain there. So probably it's a trend in India which will again come back like uh, the styles coming and going. This we are, the institute has come to a shape now and I am sure more people will associate themselves with it and carry it forward. We are now putting up a library uh, with a collection of my books and some other people will be have promised to give books and more and more users will come. Then the institute is slowly expected to grow. We already have vocal and uh, Hindustani vocal and Hindustani Carnatic vocal classes and yoga classes and I hope things will grow and it will uh, research work is also starting on our programs which we do we have been recording or things like that keeping it so more people will come utilize the facilities here and it will grow